In this video, I'm going to show you a very cool plugin that allows you to add custom wraps, aka skins, to your Minecraft weapons and tools. It is called HMC Wraps, and it's awesome. It comes with a lot of cool features, as well as support for both Oraxin and Items Adder. And today, I'm going to show you how it works and what it can do. So before we start, do make sure to leave a like. Also, press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. We're trying to hit the 30k subscribers now, which will be the next big big milestone here on the channel so do smash subscribe i will be thankful forever and then without any further ado let's dive right into this So the first step will be clicking on the link in the description of this video that will take you to the Spigot MC page of HMC Wraps. Now do keep in mind that this is a paid plugin, so you will need to be locked into a Spigot MC account, otherwise you will not be able to see the page. Now even though the plugin is paid, we will be doing a giveaway. I will be talking more about that later in the video. So you're either going to win a giveaway or purchase the plugin for yourself. After that you simply want to click on download now, wait for a little bit and there you go. Now after downloading you will have this zip file simply right mouse click extract all and we're gonna click extract again wait for a little bit and there you go now we got an hmc wraps folder now in here you got configurations for either items adder oraxin or just the default hmc wraps plugin so if you're already running a copy of oraxin or items adder on your minecraft server and you want to add hmc wraps as well you can use one of these configurations now in my case i'm just going for the default standalone version so i'm simply gonna grab the hmc wraps.jar config file copy it and after that paste it into the plugins folder of your minecraft server now what's also really important is the hmc wraps resource pack so you will need this resource pack active otherwise you won't be able to see any wraps and because that's all what the plugin is about it is essential so you probably want to turn this resource pack into a server resource pack so that it will be automatically applied to anyone who joins the server if you don't know how to set up a server resource pack i will leave a tutorial linked in the top right corner of the screen right now simply click on the information icon and check it out then after joining your server and supplying the resource pack you simply want to grab yourself a tool in my case i'm gonna go with the diamond sword and then we're gonna type in chat slash wraps this will bring up the wraps menu and you can already see it over there it looks epic so this is the wraps menu from here you will be able to choose a wrap for your item so currently there's only one wrap available which is the fire wrap apply this wrap to make your sword look fire oh it will for sure now now, a very cool feature is that when we right click we will actually get a preview of what the wrap will look like so that is epic the preview will last for about five seconds and after that it will disappear again so now that we've seen the wrap and i think it looks amazing we're simply gonna left click on the wrap and there we go the wrap has been applied my sword now looks absolutely amazing i love it now another very cool feature is that you don't even have to type the slash wraps command to get into the wraps menu what you can also do is simply grab a tool in my case a diamond pickaxe and then we're gonna shift click in other words crouch and then right click and there you go we're inside the wraps menu and i can now apply a beautiful fire wrap for my diamond pickaxe now let's say i don't want this source anymore i don't want it wrapped anymore i don't like it for whatever reason you just want it to look like a normal sword once again then what you want to do is go back to the wraps menu and here on the bottom right you will have the unwrap button simply click on there and there you go remove your current wrap so now it is just a regular diamond sword again now this plugin does also add physical wraps now you might be like kasasura um what's a physical wrap well let me show you so when we type slash wraps give after that i'm gonna type wrapper the wrapper i want is the fire pickaxe one and after that i of course have to type my username so kasasura then upon pressing enter you will get this item so this is a fire wrapper this is the wrapper in a physical item form so instead of getting your item wrapped from the menu i just showed you you can also distribute these physical wrappers so what i can do is simply grab this fire wrap for diamond pickaxe that's what it says i'm simply gonna grab it I'm gonna put it on top of the diamond pickaxe and bam the diamond pickaxe has now been wrapped it now looks amazing look at that these animations are so cool look at this that's great now what you can also get is an unwrapper so by typing slash wraps give unwrapper kasasara i will get another physical item with a little bin on there and this will unwrap your item so let's say i don't want this wrap anymore because i don't think it looks great for some reason then i can simply grab the unwrapper 
put it on top of my pickaxe just like that and there you go the pickaxe has been restored to normal and i also got my wrap back so now i can just use my fire wrap for another diamond pickaxe now before briefly going over the config i want to tell you a little more about the giveaway so me and the developer of hmc wraps are working together to do a giveaway we will be giving away 10 copies of hmc wraps now if you're watching this video in the first week after it came out the giveaway is still ongoing simply go to the description of this video and join the hibiscus creative studio discord server in there more details on how to join the giveaway and how to win will be provided so if you're watching this video in week one you got a chance of winning hmc wraps for completely free so make sure to join their discord join the giveaway and i wish you the best of luck now the last thing we're gonna do is take a quick look at the config so what you want to do is go to your minecraft server folder after that go to the plugins folder then to hmc wraps and then you want to look for the config.yml in there you will first be greeted with some permission settings if you want to make the wraps a vip exclusive feature for example then you might want to set the inventory permission to true and then give the right permission to the vip group so they will be able to use the wraps now a little further down we have the previews so the very cool preview we just saw in game how long should the duration be how fast should it be rotating should it be cancelled when you sneak yes or no all basic stuff like that and then just a little more down at line 41 you will be able to add wraps for yourself though i would actually not recommend doing that here so all the way at the top it will say the items with wraps you can configure them here or in the wraps file which is located here now i would actually highly recommend that and let me tell you why so let's go back to the hmc wraps folder and after that you simply want to click on the folder that's called wraps now in here you will see the silver wraps yml now if you're gonna add wraps of your own i would actually highly recommend just creating a new file here call it whatever you want and then configure your wraps in there so that way if you ever want to share some wraps with a couple of friends or some people you know then it's literally a matter of copying the file copying the right textures sending it all to them and they will be able to set it up in mere seconds which is awesome so this is what a basic configuration looks like here we got the items in this case it is the iron sword and this is the configuration of a wrap so on top we have the permission if you have permissions enabled in the config file then these might come in really handy then you got the uuid in this case it is silver short and then the regular id now this is where stuff will become a bit complicated so over here you will need to input the custom model data id now for the silver short the custom model data id is two so remember the resource pack i showed at the start of this video well that resource pack houses the texture of the silver short now if you want to add wraps of your own you will of course need to make a file like this and configure it correctly but you will also need to add your own textures to that resource pack now i won't be going over how to do that in this video though i will be making a video soon on how to add custom textures to a resource pack so if you don't want to miss that make sure to smash that subscribe button so you will be notified when that video is up now after that you got the name so what do you want the name to look like in this case it is just silver wrap the word wrap is gray the word silver is aqua and then you got some lore you can also change that here and that is basically it the configuration is really really easy you can simply create a new file here copy this format and then just configure it to the way you want the plugin will add every everything to the wraps menu and life will be great and then guys that will be it i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button and click on the notification bell it would really help me out by doing that you actually would also don't forget to join my discord server link will be down below and then i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye